Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about Network Visibility module also known as NVM on Secure Network Analytics 741. I am Pradnya Padki, TME for Secure Analytics. Network Visibility module helps us to gain visibility across users, endpoints, applications, etc. be it on premise or off premise. NVM protocol helps us to get rich contextual telemetry data. Enterprise administrators will have less visibility on unmanaged devices that users rely on these days. Hence, it becomes extremely important to know the user's activities, user's behavior that can tend to an anomaly. AnyConnect client extends its visibility to endpoint called AnyConnect NVM. It comes along with a lightweight agent that runs on each of these endpoints. AnyConnect NVM agent runs on the standard IPFIX protocol with its own profile which instructs the client where to send the data, what kind of data to be collected, etc. The client stores all the network traffic information even when user is not on VPN. This network traffic information is then being exported to the flow collectors. And then uh, with the Secure Network Analytics Manager, we can see the endpoints or end users activity logs by running certain reports through which we get to know who is the user, what OS the user is using, what is the AnyConnect uh, NVM version that the user is logged into, what are the interface details, source, destination, IP addresses, process names, process hash values and so many other telemetries. So let's quickly switch on to demo and see how NVM data looks on data store and non data store domains. This is the secure network analytics dashboard. So this is the report builder app. And we create a new report here. So once we click on the uh, create new report, we get set of reports that we can run. So right now we will be concentrating on endpoint traffic that is NVM and run it for probably latest five minutes, but I would like to run it for 30 days and run it. So this is the NVM data on CDS domain. We get to know uh, more granularity in this report, right? So we see the uh, start time and end time. We see the source IPs, destination IPs through what destination port that the user is trying to communicate. We also see the name of the user, right? If we just scroll right, we see the name of the user. We see the process name that the user is being trained to access. We can also, you know, filter out if you want if you have certain applications or process names in mind we can just you know filter it out and see if that particular is user is using that particular process we also get the hash value of this process uh, process names etc we also see the parent process uh, information right and if we are uh, if we want to know more information on that particular uh, user or more telemetry towards the NVM data. We just come to manage columns and see the set of telemetry information that we can fetch from, right? So in, for example, if you want to know the interface name, I just select that and apply it, load the data and we see the interface names for it, right? So yeah, this is the data on the, uh, this is the NVM data on CDS. Now we will see the NVM data on non data store domain. So quickly verify if you are on non data store domain and then go to analyze and click on the flow search. So here we can select uh, probably uh, last half an hour to an hour and then search it. So this is the data that we get after the search is complete. Now we, we, we can give the filter from which browser the user is trying to access it. For example, let me give Firefox, right? So once this uh, filter is given, we can see which all user try to access from the Firefox browser. If you want to get to know more about the flow search, just go to manage columns and we can see multiple choices that we can select. So let us select through what application or the protocol that this particular 
uh, flow search that we have seen right so once this is done right so we can see the application as from this particular browser we are seeing all the https data so this is how we find the nvm data on the non data store domain so what are you waiting for if you are already using sna i encourage you to upgrade to 741 and try out the data store architecture if you are a new customer so start your free trial today thank you for watching the video